Hi, this is Shadia and today we're gonna be seeing more footage from the streets and how like every time some of the basics the things that children actually learn can be incredibly effective not only effective but absolutely devastating and today we're gonna see exactly that so today I'm gonna run through three examples a rear naked choke in a store uh, an Epon Sawayanage uh, by, performed by a security guard and finally the devastating Harai Goshi um, are they completely necessary to use this amount of force personally I wouldn't go this far uh, depend uh, like based on what I've seen the attack but um, sometimes if they are willing to retaliate and your life your family's life is on the line you need it so here um, apparently someone maybe is trying to steal something and they're immediately put in a Hadaka Jimmy and the Hadaka Jimmy is immediately uh, worked the man was knocked out seconds later usually uh, when we roll or when we do things together you know on the mat we squeeze uh, progressively because you know obviously there are responsibility and also we're training so here this is Hadaka Jimmy this is the base form you have two types of finish the first one being where you you know drive your forearm into their trachea making it more of a choke rather than a strangle so the other one here which you saw the police officer do you actually close in with your forearm and your bicep on the carotid arteries blocking the blood flow to the head and of course uh, getting them unconscious um here i want you to pay attention to the hand that's uh been put behind the head and down uh, the police officer actually put it on top of the head, which makes it less effective. However, um, he w he seems to be very strong, you know, finishing the choke or strangle in just a matter of a few seconds, less than five, I would say. Um, here, this is the correct way, the most efficient way is to actually put it on your other bicep and really uh, tightening it down. So, first one is Hadaka Jime. This one here is Ippon Sionage. I added this because there is um, somewhat of historical significance to Ippon Sionage and uh, I wanted to discuss it with you. So here, someone is swinging clearly untrained. You can see it from a mile away, grabs it, hooks the arm and throws down. He doesn't completely load on the shoulder and the back, but I would still qualify it as Ippon Sionage. I wouldn't uh, go and call it Tayotoshi. So, Let's take a look at Ippon Sawanage uh, from Nage no Kata. So this is the base form. Uh, it is it is practiced in a sense that someone strikes you uh, downwards and you catch the momentum, finishing it with Ippon Sawanage. You block the arm as you are rotating in. You don't stop it. You block. You create contact with it as you are rotating and getting inside. While the other one, you hook with the crease of the elbow and you grab the jacket not just making a fist like we do today even the highest competitors and we'll get to that detail a little bit later so you hook or load the arm on the shoulder up high not so much on the side delt like we do today uh, and then here look the, both of the hands are grabbing the arm which makes the cutting down motion much easier and you will see why today a lot of us are doing this even at the highest level i've even seen joshiro maruyama when he was drilling uchikomi he was doing it like this the, the fist is closed and it's to the side and then loading on the back but here the most efficient and effortless way to do it is this one here put by kano in the nage no kata um look here is tanimoto double olympic champion she's saying for those who are women you know or someone who lacks power or someone generally weaker she says instead of just only doing this you should actually clasp or grab the jacket tightly with both hands which makes the ippon seonage much more effective and also um they're not going anywhere basically they're pinned to your shoulder and then cutting down makes it much easier. Remember, serenage is a teiwaza, a hand technique and not a hip technique. I see a lot of people just load on the hips and then just dump uh, without so much hand work. It becomes much effortless when you really engage your hands. It's a teiwaza. And I'm really glad she got back to this important detail more after more than a century. So here, 
this is the devastating Haragoshi. So a security guard is being hit by someone. The guy comes back for more. Look, it's clinched. There is clear contact overhead, overhooks the head and finishes it with a devastating Haragoshi. Because he's holding the head and the hand, he, by default, he fell down into a Keisa Gatame position. Look, the body is completely um, static. There's no movement at all. Uh, like I said, this is the stuff that children learn. And when I see the Newaza battles of the kids, it's mostly, you know, uh, Osai Komi. You can only pin as a kid. And this here, the Haragoshi being done, finished with a beautiful Kesagatame, classical Kesagatame. It's the stuff that children learn at the beginning. And look how devastating they can be. So when people say, you know, judo is getting watered down, etc., I wouldn't go so far as say it becomes ineffective. I see a lot of, you know, sports judo is ineffective. Again, I wouldn't go so far to say it. Is it less effective, you know, with the lack of self-defense, the, you know, psychological awareness, the stuff that you actually learn in self-defense, the drilling, the training your reflex? Sure. But in terms of the effectiveness of the grappling, I wouldn't go so far as say it has become completely useless or watered down. Uh, that's what I say. So, um, if you have anything else to add, I can pick out so many things uh, when it comes to judo as street uh, examples. But um, the message will always be uh, the same. You know, take care of yourself. You know, if you see a situa bad situation unfolding, you know, just don't go near it. Um, again, only you can know. Uh, what amount of force to use or the intensity of the technique should be uh, maybe whoever is on whoever's life is on the line of course all of it for example you know uh, getting caught robbing the store uh, being put to sleep by a naked choke in my opinion is it was not necessary the man was belly down he was not a threat and yet this is what they did to him to me that was somewhat of an excessive use of force uh, strong technique don't get me wrong but um, it was not necessary the harai goshi hey who knows what would have happened or where would have it would have led same thing ippon sayonage was completely great controlled uh, took him down rot rotated him belly down and you can see that he was not hurt and this is what we are looking for as Henry gracie says you know the the goal is to come back home safely both of you and uh, you know learning a good lesson and being safe so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons only uh, it's mainly you know full podcasts exclusive videos once a week uh, but don't worry my main content will always be here on the channel so please don't feel obliged but your support would mean greatly this was shady and thank you for listening